Good morning from the High Steps Pension in Katmandan, definitely one of the most beautiful places here on the northeastern coast of the Cebu Island. Katmandan is a hidden gem on the northeastern coast and while millions of tourists flock to the city of Cebu, Mol Bowl and Oslob during the peak holiday months. I prefer to travel the lesser known destinations here on the Cebu Island, where I can have a better quality vacation, and since this area is less crowded, I can stay for weeks at nice resorts and have the best time of my life. The beauty of visiting Katmandan is that I am close to the beach, the jungle and the highlands without missing out on charming restaurants, coffee shops and other famous eateries. This relaxed little town is everything dreams are made of, and with its laid-back atmosphere and natural environment away from the hustle and bustle. It truly gives me the different feelings of a much-needed place for relaxation. And if you like trekking, Katmandan is the perfect base to explore Mount Kapayas, the second highest peak in the province of Cebu. It is a challenging trail that features cliffs and uphill areas and I will be greeted by a lot of floras and faunas along the way to the top, which by the way, has a stunning view helping me to rejuvenating my mind and body. Also let's not forget the Tenubdan waterfalls, a truly incredible place with multiple cascades flowing into a natural swimming pool in the middle of the jungle. Definitely another good reason to come here. Also the beaches here are surrounded by turquoise waters and tropical forest, making me feel like in a fairy tale, perfect for me to escape from the reality and become one with nature. As the jungle-like atmosphere gives me the sense of being located in another more beautiful world. Is this what I can call paradise? Well, maybe yes, maybe no, but for sure, the village of Katmandan gives me the much-needed exceptional happiness and delights. And today it is the perfect place where I can spend my time relaxing, get disconnected from the reality and immersing myself into my thoughts and rejuvenating some old and recent memories of mine. What a personal feast and highlight, not encountered every day.
Hello. Now nice, eh? not so hot. As I earlier mentioned, here in Kathmandu you not need to miss out on charming restaurants, coffee shops and other yummy serving eateries. I have my daily breakfasts, here at the famous Sea Salt Cafe, in Grotto, located on a family-owned seafront property that was formerly used as a family vacation house. The cafe serves delicious, hot and cold coffee in all-day rice meals, fresh fruit shakes and a variety of drinks. Its signature food items such as tapa, chorizo, sisig and lasagna are all homemade, as well as its esmores and cheesecakes pastries. The expanded menu includes even scallops, vegetable lumpia and bistique, and the views from the restaurant over the Visayan Sea are second to none. So no wonder that it has become my most favorite hangout for delicious breakfasts. And here it is where I take my daily afternoon coffee, at the Ugly Barista's Coffee House. It is serving one of the best coffees in this area. Besides hot and cold brews I can also indulge myself into their delicious cakes, pizzas and other yummy finger foods. As you can see, the ambience here today has the perfect balance between creating a cozy atmosphere that welcomes friendly chatter, while allowing moments of quiet contemplation, simply said. It is the perfect place to enjoy my coffee addiction. For dinners I prefer the outdoor seaside Tai Chi Beach restaurant, I love its native and rustic designs of bamboo with kogon grass covered roofs, and the green highlighted plants fencing the open air restaurant. It is located directly on the beach, so I get to hear the sound of the waves, and see the beautiful full moon shining bright on the night sky with a life musician softly serenading us. While I am enjoying my dinner, that's what I call a great and fantastic beach dinner. Here is the famous Duko Duko Eatery, not to be missed when you are here in Kathmandu. This is a traditional Filipino restaurant specializing in local cuisine. So this is what I call a paradise, and even so, Kathmandu is on the list of most sleepiest towns, 
here in Cebu, just look closely and you will discover some wonders that you can't find anywhere else, and that is my reason to call this place my paradise, and maybe you will too, when you next time come to Katmandan and feel the village special vibes. With this, I am ending my video here from the High Steps Pension, a truly special guest house with a great host and an unforgettable nice view over Katmandan and the Visayan Sea. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you in my next adventure, planning to ride the unforgettable Highland Road, from here in Katmandan back to the ever-busy and hectic Cebu City.